what happened at the Monster Energy FIA Motocross of Nations at Redbud, Buchanan in Michigan in the United States. MXGP and MX2 was race one. Yago Kitt and the baby blue for Belgium grabbed the Fox hole shot, but by the time we reached turn two, the American Eli Tomac riding 101 was in the lead. Maxim Renault for France was in second. Hitz was in third, but down one of the first hills, the Belgian struck early and was into second. Behind him, Jeremy Siwa was defending from the Australian Mitch Evans. Siwa was in a good position, but so too Marvin Muscan, one of the leading MX2 riders this time for France. He eventually found his way past Andrea Adamo. That put him up in a 13th. He'd eventually come home in 14th place as Max Anstey, Great Britain, went out of 26th. Jeremy Siwa, though, he was in fourth, pushing Maxim Renault. He went down hard, picked himself up, did not lose a position, but it was Eli Tomac for the USA, picking up the one point for the win ahead of the Belgian Yago Kiertz, Maxim Renault of France, Jeremy Siwa, and Mitch Evans of Australia. And after the first race, the USA were leading the way, obviously with uh, Eli Tomac picking up that important victory. They were on 10 points with their two combined scores from Australia, Belgium, France and Italy. Race two was MX2 and open class riders and from the outside gates, Jet Lawrence stormed across, but Tommy Searle from Great Britain, the number nine rider, he went down, but look at number 15, Dylan Ferrandis, and the 32 of Simon Langenfelder. The Fox Hole shot went to the number three of Italy, Mattia Guadagnini. He was followed by the 103 of Chase Sexton, and Jet Lawrence around the outside. Hunter Lawrence on the left-hand side collided with Justin Cooper at the top of the hill. Cooper went straight on for the USA. Lawrence went down. He would re-emerge in 13th place. Meanwhile, Chase Sexton thought he'd taken over the lead. The fans were ecstatic. They were on their feet. But a few corners later, Guadagnini eventually bounced back to regain the lead for the Italians. All the while, though, Jet Lawrence was closing in on the background for Team Australia. He found his way past Sexton, and then this pass on Guadagnini put him through into the lead on lap 7 of 15. Calvin Belandre under attack from the 15 of Dylan Ferrandis, who carved his way up into sixth place. Remember, he fell on the first turn. Another faller was Hunter Lawrence. He got himself up to uh, 11th. He then went down to 13th before finding his way back to 9th and then 10th. Dylan Ferrandis in the wars again, though. A last lap dash up the inside of Ruben Fernandez didn't pay off. He still remained that sixth place behind Ruben Fernandez, but this time it was Jet Lawrence. The open-class rider who was victorious for Australia, Chase Sexton, came home for the USA in second. Guadagnini third, Cooper fourth, Fernandez, Ferrandez, Valandrant and Kulas. And that meant after two races, the USA were on 16, Australia on 24, France on 32, Italy 25. And that was it. into the final race then all eyes on three nations really team usa france and australia maxim renault emerged with the fox hole shot alongside his teammate dylan ferrandis who took over the lead immediately chase sexton was right there but yago kids went down and running over the bike there was also the 101 of eli tomac mitch evans got caught out his teammate went up the inside of him jet lawrence Mitch Evans would only manage 28 by the time the checkered flag fell. All eyes on the battle for second position, though. But up front, whilst pulling away, Dylan Ferrandis over the bars went down. He lost the lead, would re-emerge in sixth place. He would eventually find his way back to fifth by the time the flag fell as Calvin Valandrum went over the bars. He eventually came home in 14th. He was running up as high as 10th. Chase Sexton felt the wrath of Jet Lawrence. That was for second position. The Australian crew down there like that. He then went after Maxim Renault as Dylan Ferrandis chased down Jeremy Siwa. These two were fighting over fourth and fifth. Siwa, though, making a couple of mistakes. Eventually, the Frenchman would find his way through. Maxim Renault won the race. Jet Lawrence was second. But when Chase Sexton crossed the line in third place, 
he, along with his teammate Eli Tomac in six, had done enough to be crowned world champions and the winners of the 22 edition of the Monster Energy FIM Motocross of Nations. Renault, you winner in the race from Lawrence, Sexton, Ferrandez, Siwa and Tomac, but USA winning on 16 points, France 23, Australia 26, Italy and Belgium. And for the USA, their first win in 11 years, their 23rd win now, their 33rd podium. And for Eli Tomac, his first win, he was a silver medalist in 2013, bronze in 14. He had to settle for fifth here last time out in 2018. But USA on top of the world here in America. This is, I know these don't come easy and they don't come often. So um, I, I just, I think back to the, to, to just the beginning of the day um, and beginning of the weekend. You know, it, it, it felt, it felt great as a team. We had great team atmosphere. This whole weekend has been really a dream come true, um, being my birthday and it all worked out. So uh, first one, first win. Um, that's you can't take that for granted because, like Eli said, they don't come very often. And uh, I'm just so happy that last race, going off the start, was just it was key to get out there and everything came together for us. We had uh, six solid motos as a team, and you know everyone was working so good together. And the crowd was behind us the whole time. Uh, it was it was an awesome weekend. I, I wouldn't uh, would never take this for granted. This is uh, very special to us. And yeah, like you said, it's been 11 years, so that's been pretty dented in our heads.